democracy now, Amy Goodman did a very good program of the effects of NAFTA on uh, um, the uh, problem with uh, the immigrants in this country. Uh, it's because we, under NAFTA, we flooded uh, the uh, government of Mexico, the people of Mexico, with cheap corn so that they didn't grow their own corn and make crops they weren't allowed to, to produce because um, uh, about nine uh, of the grain corporations that decided to take over the grain market and to control the price of the rice and uh, wheat and corn. And so in order for Mexico to get certain loans that we promised them, then they agreed not to to take, to take our cheap corn and uh, not grow corn themselves so that the people uh, now, you know, are hungry. They can't afford to be Archer Daniel Midland uh, um, and other uh, great corporations, uh, Monsanto, Cargill, uh, most of them are big advertisers on television but uh, they have a very poor record for what they're doing in forcing these countries to go to a single crop to raise the price of the grain and force many people off the land into starvation so they come here as a solution for survival. We see that now, and Jesse Jackson was on the Barbara now talking. He's just come back from Haiti and making the connection very clearly between the food shortage and the uh, need to take care of the immigrants who can't live in their own country. And this needs to be addressed. I want to extend the invitation to the people who are present to, who want to share any um, testimony or somebody who knows experience who has been touched by these policies of racism. All recognized here has come. May 1st is not even mentioned in any of the holidays. We are all workers. How come workers are being punished? with low wages, and not only immigrant workers, all workers are punished. Corporations are making money, and we are the ones who are being punished. So we want to invite you to learn about the